This is Business Insights. I'm David Matthews. Benefit Mall, a leading provider of employee benefits, human resources, and payroll products and services, is ranked number 3927 on the 34th annual Inc. 5000 list by Inc. Magazine. This is an exclusive ranking of the nation's fastest growing private companies. The list represents the most comprehensive look at the most important segment of the economy, America's independent entrepreneur. Joining us now is Benefit Mall's president, Scott Kirksey. Scott, thanks for spending time with us today. Thank you. Scott, what factors do you believe have led to Benefit Mall's accelerated growth over the last few years? Well, Benefit Mall's focus is the service of small businesses and their employees that enable those small businesses and their employees to focus on what they really do, what makes them great, and to ensure that they have the confidence that all of their regulatory benefits, payroll, compliance needs are met. Um, you know, one of the things that's, that's clearly uh, had, a, had a big impact on Benefit Mall's growth curve is the fact that the last three, four, five years have been incredibly tumultuous for small business uh, between the economy, between uh, the uh, legislation, all the attendant regulations, um, and, and frankly, the, the in, increasing risk uh, to a, a small company of, of being out of compliance or, or not being able to keep up with all of the different things that are out there. Um, you know, that has been a, a boon for Benefit Mall. We represent um, a place that they can rely on, that confidence that their employees are going to be well cared for, and more importantly, that we're going to relieve that employer of all of those concerns uh, that, that are nagging concerns that take them away from being the entrepreneur that, that they got in the business to be in the first place. Um, so, in a way, all of that tumult, while it has created um, a, a, a need for us to be very nimble and to continue to develop new things to meet all of those, those demands, it has attracted more and more small businesses through their trusted advisors, brokers, CPAs, banks, um, to benefit them all. And, and it's, it's incredibly fulfilling to the company um, to see uh, the growth that we have for Benefit Mall and our employees, but additionally, um, to see the growth in, in those small businesses. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a shared success for us, and it's a, it's a critically important sensitivity that we have to supplying service and supplying the, 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 the confidence to those entrepreneurs that they can be freed to work on the things that make them great. Well, that's a huge part of making uh, any business work, and I can see how that would uh, definitely cause your business to grow uh, rapidly. Now, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act was signed into law uh, March 23, 2010. Uh, this legislation has had great impact on businesses across the country, as you know. How has this legislation affected your business, and how have you responded to that? Certainly. Well, the um, PPACA is a, a gargantuan uh, uh, legislative and regulatory animal and it has raised certainly many more questions than there have been answers, um, even as you look to the, to the people that are developing those regulations or um, as you will, will relate to even those people who originally developed the legislation um, as to what the intent is and what the impact is. In fact, um, only uh, within the last few days have the IRS forms been finalized that small businesses are going to be reply, re required to file um, that are new forms. Okay, And so then the instructions behind those, the, 
the impact on what uh, a business is going to need to accumulate that information is is incredible. That's just one small piece of it. Obviously, the biggest impact um, to a small business is that it has shed a new light and caused a new uh, uh, analysis, if you will, of the kind of coverage that a, a business uh, provides for its employees. And at the same time, also providing an alternative, which is not to provide coverage, um, under the guise that um, the, those employees might be able to find coverage in the individual exchanges. Um, if in fact they have uh, access to a subsidy by virtue of what they pay, et cetera. And then of course, if you are a small business, at some point you reach the size where you're gonna be required um, by law to provide coverage to your full-time employees. Uh, that process of measuring, of looking back, of evaluating, um, not only are you in a position that you need to comply with the coverage rules, but what type of coverage do I need to provide in order to be in compliance? Those are all tricky questions because the answers are not the same for every company. It's a very complex area, yes, indeed. Exactly. It's yeah. definitely not a one-size-fits-all. Um, obviously, the, the convergence that we have seen and have always envisioned between payroll, benefits, HR, um, and, and regulatory filings into kind of one thing, similar to, you know, the phone that you carry today, has gone from being a phone to your everything. The same sort of thing has happened in the the benefits and the uh, the process outsourcing world, where all of your human capital management, uh, the the value of having one entity to bring all that together, is really the only way that you can ensure that you've got access to all the information that you need in order to meet the regulatory compliance, the filings, to prepare them, and, and frankly, to be able to make the assessments, ongoing success, assessments as to where you fall within that realm of, of needing to comply or not. So we have always been a, uh, a, a knowledge expert on benefits and payroll and HRIS, and that has evolved um, through what's happening in PPACA. The, we, we have a, um, an online healthcare reform and blog that we launched in 2010 called healthcareexchange.com. And it is all things in terms of the capability to uh, uh, explore the FAQs that we've uh, answered there through our uh, attorneys, through other uh, advisors and and even directly with the uh, regulatory agencies. So our tools that we provide out there are aimed not only at that small business, but also that that small businesses um, advisors, as I said, in the form of the brokers or CPAs, et cetera. Right. Um, we've we've added new tools that are directly focused at the ability to help that company comply and file the types of forms that are going to be required. Um, as I said, as I referenced earlier, the new IRS forms that are going to be required by, um, you know, applicable employers uh, at the end of the year and are also going to have to be sent to each of the employees similar to a W-2. Those are new things. People really don't have their arms around it. We are making it easy by by tying it all in to, to the different sources of data and providing you a one-stop shop for our with our all compliance tool. Well, yes. Well, the benefits administration is a very complex area that every business uh, really has to give a lot of consideration to. So it's great to have that expertise. Well, now you're already on the Inc. Magazine's uh, list of fastest growing companies. Where do you expect to be in the next three to five years? Well. Um, we obviously 
expect to uh, to always be on a fastest growing list. Uh, you know, the, the one thing that that is a constant with with Benefit Mall is that we are a culture of growth. Uh, the way that we um, uh, we grow our employees, the 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 focus that we have on uh, ensuring that our businesses that we serve and their employees are in a position to be able to have not only their needs and and uh, uh, resource requirements met today, but in the future, that's that's a, a really driving thing for us. So we expect to uh, expand dramatically in uh, some of our core markets, but also there'll be more and more uh, of our business and our services that are accessed uh, through the web and um, in markets that we aren't through the, um, you know, our inside sales organizations, as well as through our web enabled products. Um, and, and, you know, we have just nothing but, a, but an extreme amount of optimism that all things are converging. Um, the, the needs that, that businesses have, the, the kind of tipping point that it's hit with respect to complexity, where it is, it is more than ever appealing to uh, a small business or an entrepreneur to, to look to a partner to handle all of those things that they, that by them doing doesn't bring value, so that they can focus on the things that they want to do and that brings value. Well, you're right. And the, our converging uh, economy and the cloud-based uh, way that all businesses function and operate and collaborate today, that's the only thing that really makes sense is to make sure you partner up with somebody who really has the expertise in an area that uh, they don't necessarily have that expertise and something that's as dynamic and changing as benefits and such as that. So, uh, Scott, what advice do you have for businesses today? Well, I, I think that we've we've hit upon quite a bit of it. The, the really important thing is um, to be able to, to, to free your resources, because they're precious resources, um, to focus on what makes your business important. In today's world, the, um, the type of partner that Benefit Mall represents is, is now bringing to a smaller business what in the past has really uh, largely only been available for uh, much larger businesses in terms of these integrated, converged solutions. So, I mean, my recommendation clearly would be to focus on what you know and to look for the strong partners um, and your and and leverage your trusted partners that you utilize your brokers your your CPAs bankers to help guide you in the direction of finding someone that you can trust and rely on to frankly let you build your business um, in the way that only you can build it. Scott, thank you very much for all of these insights on this very complex area of benefits, something that we, uh, all businesses, uh, need to be concerned about, make sure that that's taken care of, and, and the expertise and the partnership opportunities with Benefit Mall uh, are, are great opportunities. Thank you again for sharing your insights with us today. Thank you. This is Business Insights. I'm David Matthews. Thanks for joining us.